good. Hello. Very good. You know, traditionally I always prefer the... What is going on guys? Welcome back to Steph AB TV. Now this video here I'm very excited to present firstly because it's the first time I've ever been in a Julia Quadrifoglio but more importantly my buddy Richard who you'll all remember from the road trip videos has just literally bought himself a Julia Quadrifoglio. So Rich welcome back to the channel. Thank you for having me. First impressions of this car. Awesome. <laughs> Ask me again in about five hours time because, because this is about the first dry day since we <laughs> bought the car. Oh, rear mate. wheel drive and super soft yes. Pirelli P0 Corsas. Absolutely. Does not a planted car make, unfortunately. Oh, that noise. That noise. Good. Hello. Very good. And this is uh, what's this? This is the what's the engine on this? A three litre V six twin turbo. Two point nine. Two point nine. To be, to be exact. Yeah. And um, five hundred five. Five ten. Five ten. Sorry. Sorry. Excuse me. My bad. Well, <laughs> five ten PS. Yeah, Alpha remote. If they're watching, they'll kill me. They'll be like, you yeah, should know this you, about Alphas. Yeah, Absolutely should. FCA. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll never let me a car again. <laughs> Although, if you're watching Alpha. Two Julias in one video would be a very good that video. That would be such a cool video. Road trip, two Julias. Do it. Come on, FCA. Right, let's do it. But yeah, so mate, honestly, that, that kick, that kick that you get. Yeah. And that was on a roll as well. God knows what it'd be like from a standing start. We need warm tyres from a standing start. Yeah. That's something I've realised with these. Um, yeah, I don't know, I keep going on about the tyres, but they're such a feature of this car because they've yeah. been designed. They're P0, uh, P0 Corsa AR, which yeah. is Alfa Romeo, obviously. Yeah. Tuned for this car, um, and they're amazing. Sub 10 degrees, bit of rain, yeah, nightmare. No, just to be clear, you just put it straight in advanced efficiency, yeah, poodle away, yeah, hoping for the sun, absolutely. Nope. Nope. Can we talk about the seats that you spent on this car? Oh, please, can we talk about Let's the talk seats? about the seats because, guys, I mean, there's a lot of things that look great about the Julia, but when you get the carbon buckets. It just looks incredible, and you were really that was a, that was a showstopper for you, wasn't it? Absolutely. You, I Absolutely. remember we, we had a couple of conversations. You were like, "I need the seats," and it was so surprising how few were available on the yeah. market. Yeah. Which is why, that for a time, I was looking at a new one. Yeah. Um, it's not really what I wanted to do and where I wanted to come into the market and what I wanted to spend, but yeah. I couldn't get my spec, and I'd sort of half given up on finding one. You remember? Yeah. 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 I think I called you one morning and I was like, "I found the car." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, uh, there's not a dip, there's not a change of spec that I would have had from you. Yeah. If I was spec, yeah. and that's quite rare to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me let me ask you. Obviously, it's a difficult one to answer right now because you haven't really had the chance. But I guess what well, it's actually you can answer because you've driven it in the rain, etc. Yeah. So one of the things that a lot of people talk about this car is that it's a it's a very hairy car, as in you really need to be in control of it because the back end will kick out any time. Yeah. In comparison to your Lotus. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's more power being driven through. The yeah. And it's a heavier car, yeah. so there's never going to be... I mean, the Lotus had a bit of slip, yes. that was one of the things we talked about, yeah. which was fun, but it was so light and controllable, yeah. and you know, you just felt like you could just think about where you wanted it to go, yeah. go. but 
Yeah, it's fine. And you've got, what have you got, four stage traction control. Yeah. Um, and what I always like, which you've got on this and I had on the Lotus, is on dynamic, which yeah. is the sort of one just below race, yeah. you still get a little bit of slip. But if you were being a bit of an idiot and you were just throwing it, yeah. it would probably give you 10 degrees either side of slip, <laughs> yeah. which is fine. Yeah. Um, but you know you've got that protection. Yeah, um, whereas in race, it's one of the quite, well, there's two controversial elements about the settings on this car. One is that you only get full bore exhaust sound in race. But what that means is you get no traction control. But so you kind of have to offset one for the other. <laughs> you have to. That's the problem. with speed camera alerts. So we're just saying off camera, then does that make this illegal in France? Because <laughs> France, you're not, you're not allowed to have all those radars. It's so Italian, isn't it? I don't care about yeah, any other country. It's okay. Just don't drive through France. <laughs> <laughs> or Russia. Or, or Russia. Yeah, that was the worst Italian accent I've ever done in my life. It was full on Bora. Mother Russia. Russia. Mother Russia. Yeah. Oh, mate. No, this is, this is um, I'm really impressed. And obviously, guys, this is not the first and last you'll see of this car because uh, obviously Richard's um, regular on the channel. Uh, we'll probably do a lot more videos with this car and hopefully, hopefully we'll get some road trips in as well this year. Yeah, so um, obviously we've got a new car set up. We've got the C63S behind, which you guys have seen, which is Steve's. We've got the Giulio Quadrifoglio. I've still got the Abarth and that's a separate video in itself because there's things toying on my mind what to do next with that car. So I'm not going to get into it now, um, but I do need to have a think about what to do next with it. But the night shift till late in the PM I'm California dreaming RS Mark II that I have. Oh, yeah. You can use the lag yeah. to almost help you out of certain corners. Yeah. Because obviously, you know, like perfect racing um, race lines and how you feed the throttle, you should feed the throttle in as you yeah. come off the lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the lag kind of does that for you. Yeah. It's kind of cheating if you get to learn where the boost is. Yeah, which you know how long it takes to pick up yeah. full boost. I'm still getting there. It's still yeah. learning. I'm still getting a bit of a wow. Oh, man. Yeah, it just takes off. It? it does, it does. Another indicator went on. <laughs> Can you wait up there? No, no of course not. not. Of course not. God. Discovery. Terrible. Terrible. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, Rich, I think you've bought the right car, my friend. I'm very impressed with it. Very what, impressed. What else is on the uh, everything in one car? RS6? Wouldn't be able to throw it around these roads. Well, and, that, that's, and that's an interesting... Oh, oh wow, pothole galore. Ooh. I'm almost glad we, we didn't bother bringing my car to, to this party because uh, I would have left half of it behind, unfortunately. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think in terms of the ultimate all-round car, you're right, I think RS6 is a contender up there, but... Um, New RS4, I'd like to try yeah. a little lighter, maybe, than the RS6. Yeah, no, I agree. But, um, um, but this, I mean, what, what more do you want? You've got all the power, four doors, fit the family in it, great big size boot, sounds incredible. Yeah, I mean, oh, got bumpy road mode, <laughs> it's just yeah. off at the moment. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, I, I think I think it's a contender for one of the best all-round cars out there at the moment. Rich, thank you so much for being here no on the problem. channel. Thank you for taking me out in the Julia. It was a pleasure. And uh, I look forward to many more videos with this car. My name's yeah. Steph, guys. Sorry. So if you speed camera, speed camera, <laughs> speed camera. <laughs> no, Moscow. My name's with Steph. You guys have been awesome. Hit subscribe, make me happy. Of course, I'm going to see you all on the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.